Hi everyone! So I recently found out about this um, trend that's going around called geocaching. So geocaching is basically people leave in coordinates of a location. They have a box there that's hidden and it has like, the different little knickknacks in it. And when you get there, you look for it, you find it, you take a knickknack, you leave a knickknack. And that's basically what it is. It sounds like so much fun. I've been dying to do it for so long. I'm a huge nerd when it comes to this kind of stuff and everything else. I'm just a giant nerd in general. Um, I love scavenger hunts. I love treasure hunts. I love all this kind of stuff. And I'm finally doing it and I'm so excited. <laughs> so I downloaded the app, the geocaching app. I found a couple spots. They're not downtown where I'm living. I just don't want it to be too busy where I'm going. And I want it to be kind of isolated a little bit. Not trying to die in a forest, but you know, I just want it to be a little bit alone. So I'm heading out now to do the first one that I found. It's about 45 minutes from here. I have my treasures that I'm gonna bring and leave. I'm just really excited for this, guys. You have no idea. I love this. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm relatively close. I'm gonna park on the street here and I'm just gonna try to follow the GPS coordinates and see if I can find the first cache of my life. And because it's my very first one, I'm gonna leave something special in it. I'm going to leave the one ring. <laughs> and you know I got more of these, so it's fine. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So it's been raining all day. Everything is super wet. Oh God, right, right down my boobs. But I think this is the right way. I'm just kind of following the GPS coordinates and they said it's along a creek. Okay, so I think it's in here. There's a little bit of a path in there. It's not really a path per se, but people have walked there. So I'm going to also walk there. Oh my God, everything is so wet. I think it's gonna be here somewhere. It says it's in a log. I'm kind of looking for that. Oh, I think I see a log that it could be in. I hope this isn't poison ivy. I think that's it. It. This is so exciting. Yay! Oh, everything's so wet. Oh, <laughs> that's the log, I guess. So I'm definitely gonna sign that. Oh, cute little hair tie, a little bit dirty, that's fine. A little horsey. <laughs> Spinning thing. Some expensive jewelry in here, wow. An eraser that needs a little bit of a wipe off. Another eraser, a little ball of some description, and another little ball of some description. That's so exciting. It's my first one ever, it's a lot of fun to do. I don't know what I'm gonna take. Maybe I'll take the horsey, it's cute. Okay, there's the rain again. So it's starting to pour rain again, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna leave them the one ring. I hope whoever finds the one ring understands the burden that comes with owning the one ring though. And I hope they're a good person, not evil. Good luck, buddy. Ow. Back in you go. So that was actually a lot of fun. I might try to do another one right now. I just heard thunder, so I think a storm is coming, so I should probably get out of this forest um, so I don't get struck by lightning doing a geocache. I'm gonna see if there's anything else nearby, and if there's rain stops, I'll do another one. You know what's not fun? These thorns. Ow. Do you guys know what poison ivy looks like? I looked it up one time and I saw a picture of it and I was like, okay, so it looks like everything else that grows in the forest. Cool, thank you for that. I'll look out for it. So I'm at the second one now. I'm parking on the residential street again and the trail I think is behind me in the forest. This one seems to be a little bit deeper in the forest and it seems a little trickier to find, so I'm excited for this one. And in this one, I'm actually leaving a good luck charm that I got from Pandora. That guy got so close to me. Back off, buster. It's got like a little clover on it. I don't have a Pandora bracelet anymore, so I'm just gonna put this in and hopefully it can bring someone else some good luck for a little bit. It's really hot and humid and gross after the rainfall now. I don't imagine my hair is gonna get any better. <laughs> so let's go. This one is also in a forest on a secret path, so I'm just following the path. Oh my God, it's slippery. Like, is that poison ivy? I don't know. Are they poison ivy? This seems like a perfect spot for a cult gathering or like a cult sacrifice. I hope that's not what the geocache is. It's 
So I have to try to find a path around a fallen tree here because there's no way of getting around it otherwise. So I'm hoping this trail kind of wraps around, which I think it does. Yeah, it does. Oh my God, so many mosquitoes. No corona in the forest, but there is West Nile. Okay, so that's the tree I couldn't get by on the other side. So I think it's around here somewhere. Okay, so the hint for this one is, does that log look suspicious? So now I gotta find a suspicious looking log. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. This is exactly where the coordinates are. So I'm trying to find a suspicious looking log. Which one of you logs is guilty? None of them looked suspicious when I asked that. You're good, Mr. Log, but you're not that good. I will find you. Okay, now, now they all look suspicious to me. Oh, uh, it's hot and humid and mosquitoes. Ooh, I think I found a suspicious looking log, guys. Ooh, very suspicious. Yep, very, very suspicious. You did it. No, it wasn't me. So that's just a spider web, that's not it. Good thing I didn't reach my hand in there thinking that was it. It's not there, but I do think this is the log because it just looks suspicious to me. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it did, but it did something. So let's investigate further down the log, I guess. <gasps> I found it! Yay! <laughs> Yay, this is exciting. This is fun, guys. I'm having a fun time. <laughs> what is this? Is that a coffee filter? <laughs> Aw. Rip. A little log book design, that's so cute. Another eraser, I think. <laughs> oh my god, rip hard. God damn, this thing is a massacre. Yay, I did it! I knew that log was suspicious. There's people around. I don't know where they are. They're suspicious. Okay, so I guess I'll take a snail. <laughs> And I'm gonna leave this lucky Pandora charm. You're coming with me, buddy. Back home you go. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. There's so many bugs. So that was a lot of fun. I had a really great time doing that. But now I just wanna go back to Toronto. I wanna go home and watch some Norsemen. That's all I wanna do. I'm covered in mosquito bites. I've probably got poison ivy all over my legs. It's humid, my hair is like, what are you saying? So I'm just gonna go home and watch some Norsemen. That's all I wanna do, ever. That was a lot of fun and next time I think I'm gonna try to find some that are a little trickier to get to, a little bit more challenging, but to not today because thunderstorms and rain and mosquitoes. <laughs> so that was honestly so much fun. I had a great time. I can't wait to do it again. I have a few tips though if you're gonna be doing this in a forest. Wear pants, don't wear shorts, and also wear bug spray. <laughs> Bring an umbrella. Just basically be prepared because I was not prepared. I got rained on a whole bunch. I got eaten alive by mosquitoes. I have a little bit of a rash on my leg which I'm pretty sure is from poison ivy. And also make sure if you're doing this alone or even if you have a friend, do it during the daytime. Don't go into a forest at night, obviously. But yeah, it's really, really fun. I will definitely be doing this again. I don't know why, it was so much fun. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all so much. Bye.